Welcome to this corporate maths video on product of primes. In this video, we're going to look at what the term product of primes means. We're going to look at how to write some numbers as a product of their primes. And we're also going to look at how to do it really quickly on a calculator. So first of all, let's start off by looking at the words product. Well, in maths, the word product means to multiply. And primes, well, primes are the prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. So all positive whole numbers that are greater than one, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, they are, they are either prime numbers or can be written as a product of prime numbers. So for instance, two, well, two is a prime number, three is a prime number. The number four, well, four is equal to two times two, a product of prime numbers. So it's a product of primes. Five is prime, six is equal to two times three, seven is prime, eight is equal to two times two times two, and so on. So all whole numbers, all positive whole numbers that are greater than one can be written as a product of primes. And it's really useful for doing things like finding the lowest common multiple and highest common factor, and there's videos that you can watch on that on corporate maths. But in this video, we're gonna focus on just how to write numbers as a product of their primes. So let's do that. Let's look at the number 30 and see how we can write the number 30 as a product of primes. And I'm gonna do this using a thing called a prime factor tree. So I'm gonna write 30 at the top, and I'm gonna do two branches down like this, like so. And I'm gonna think of two numbers that times together to be 30. Now I'm not gonna choose one on 30 because then I would just have the 30 again, but I'm gonna choose two numbers that times together to be 30, whole numbers that aren't the one on 30. So I'm gonna go for, I could either choose two and 15, three and 10, five and six. It doesn't actually matter which one you choose because you're always gonna get the final answer the same no matter which way you do it anyway. So I'm gonna go for three and 10. Okay, once you've written the two numbers down, what you're gonna do is you're gonna circle any prime numbers out of those two. So three is a prime number, so we're gonna circle it. 10 isn't a prime number, so then what I'm gonna do is another two branches like so. And I'm gonna think of two numbers that times together to be 10. Now I'm not gonna choose one and 10, I'm gonna choose two and five. So two and five, they're both prime numbers, so I'm gonna circle them both. So that means that if I multiply three times two times five, that should give me 30. So 30 is equal, and I tend to do it in order, so I'm gonna write two first times by three times by five. And let's just test it. Two times three is six times five is 30. So 30 is a product of primes is two times three times five. And this prime factor tree is just a really quick and easy way to help you write numbers as a product of primes. Okay, let's have a go, uh, go at another one. So this time we've been asked to write 28 as a product of primes in index form. So what we'll do is we'll write 20 as a product of primes to begin with, and then we'll look at this index form bit at the end. So let's have a look at 28. So again, let's think of two numbers at times together to be 28. Well, I could go for two and 14 or four times seven. Let's go for four times seven. It doesn't actually matter which way, you know, which ones I've chose, but I'm just gonna choose four and seven. I'm gonna circle the prime. So seven is prime, so I'll circle that. And four, well, four is equal to two times two. So I'll write those down and circle them both because they're both prime. So 28 is equal to two times two times seven. So two times two times seven. Now in this question it said in index form and that means we're going to write instead of 2 times 2 times 7 we're going to write 2 squared times by 7 because in an index form means we're going to use indices or powers so we're going to write 28 equals 2 squared times by 7. Okay let's have a look at another one now. Our next example says write 80 as a product of primes in index form. So we're going to start with 80 at the, start, uh, at the top of the tree like so and we're going to think of two numbers at the times together to be 80. So for 80 I'm going to go for 2 times 40. The two's prime, so I circle it, and then I'm gonna look at the 40. Well, for 40, I'm gonna go for four times 10. Now, neither of those two are prime, so let's then look at the four. And for four, that's two times two, so let's circle them both. And then let's move on to the 10. Well, 10 is gonna be equal to two times five, and let's circle them both. So that means that 80 is equal to two times two times two times two times five. So let's write that out, two times two times two times two times five. And let's just double check it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a five. Okay, that's great. Okay, uh, we've obviously got four twos times together. So instead of, because we've been in the question asked to write an index form, rather than writing two times two times two times two, we're gonna write two to the power of four because there's four of them, and then times by five. And that's it. So 80 is a product of primes in index form would be two to the power of four multiplied by five. At the beginning of the video, I said that I would show you how to work out the product of primes on a calculator. So if you've got a calculator with 
this yellow term here, this FACT fact, this stands for factorization, prime number factorization, then you can do the product of primes on your calculator. So here's an example, it says write 1000 as the product of primes in index form. So the first thing you should do is type in 1000 into your calculator and then press equals and then it'll appear here in the bottom right. Then after you've done that, then you're going to press the shift button first of all, this one here, and then you're gonna press this button here. And after you do that, what would happen is it would change the thousand to two cubed times five cubed. And that's because one thousand is two times two times two times five times five times five. And the calculator will do it in index form straight away and it'll work it out for you. So particularly if you want to check an answer or you if if product of primes happens to be on a calculator test, and normally it's on the non-calculator test and you're going to need to know how to do the, the prime factor trees. But if the product of primes is on a calculator test or if you just want to check your answers, you can press um, type in the number that you want to, do to work out the prime number factorization for. You then press equals and then you press shift fact and then it'll come up with the, the answer and that's it.